Hi there, intrepid viewers. It seems like a month since I've seen you. You know, it feels like forever. And I think you'll find it's probably only been a week or eight days or something. And, of course, as most of you know, I was on the Mary Trump show. It's the episode called Triage of Horrors. Okay, if you've missed it. And I've also been on just yesterday with Hogarth Astrology and Lady G, Younger Tarot. It's worth going to check out Hogarth's channel for yesterday if you haven't to see how amazing Lady G looks. It's her special tribute. She'll explain it. And I had no idea. She's a singer. I went back to her channel and she sings all our drunken classics that we all adore, you know, What's Love Got to Do With It, Jolene, you know, they're all there. Go, Lady G. So I've got a million notes today. I'll probably only get through this much of it. I'll probably be jumping all over the place because it just keeps happening, doesn't it? Just when you think it's safe to go back in the water, some other extraordinary development in world politics. But still, um, on the upside, Ivanka didn't hesitate to throw her brothers under the Humvee. You know, can you believe it? This family. No, that must have been other individuals. There's only the three of them. Doesn't leave a whole list. Okay. So, you know, the family of Yetis is going to be really interesting to watch in the next year or so. Now, I truly... I'm struggling to know where to start. There's so much. So I'm going to start with viewer questions that I also took while I was madly writing, you know, stories from the news. Thought, must cover that, must cover that. Oh, what about that? You know, anyway. So a Florida viewer, and there are quite a few of you, um, has asked about the new college of Florida. Of course, this is where... DeSantis is going all out to make Florida the land of Gilead along with Texas, but we'll get to the war on women later. But this is about stacking the boards of colleges and schools to ensure a fact doesn't get passed. You know, we don't want that. That would be awful, let alone a critical thought. No, 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 there will be no thinking. Okay, so this viewer wants to know about the new college of Florida. Will DeSantis get away with this? What's happening here? Okay. okay. Oh, my cards are upside down, yeah. Oh, look at the shadow card on the bottom. Oh, that's heartening. Oh, my goodness, these are big cards. Oh, I don't have to go any further, particularly with the shadow card here. So let's break this down. Overarching, the star, hope, inspiration, and symbolically, the best that America and people could be. But, of course, that is being challenged every waking moment by these ghastly, ghastly men and the women who support them. The theft of education outright, right, with this Five of Swords, there's a ruthlessness here. And I think DeSantis, not that... I'd want to offer him any real strategic advice. The thing is here, people are walking away from the guy. They've had battles together. If you look at the image on this card and they've won, 
look, the victory swords. But the others who fought with him are going too far, too cruel, beyond it, don't want to know. And I think this sums up, hopefully, hopefully this sums up the DeSantis strategy. I mean, trying to annihilate Disney, which symbolically is, you know, huge in the American psyche, in the world psyche. You know, Disney has this role. We won't look into the personal politics of Walt Disney. You know, it's doing its thing. Okay, so stay on track, Lena, please. All right. So I think people are going hard now with DeSantis. Yes, you can get away with this. You can get away with that. You know, yeah, go hard. They see it. They're lapping it up. But there's a turning point coming. Turning point. Wheel of Fortune. And I'm really hoping what this is about is a bit more of this will be too much. It will be too much. And I would venture to say young people themselves who um, are about to start a college education or they're partway through and then they found half their library's been gutted and now lines rabbit hutches at DeSantis's mansion. I think they're going to step forward. I hope so. And they're going to need to because, you know, the job is far from done. Now, while we're talking about that, remember, I think it was on my last video or, yeah, I think so, um, where I talked about the five women who are suing Texas because they've had very complicated and unnecessarily traumatic medical repercussions of not being able, able to have a termination of pregnancy. And that's because some fly-by-night politician can decide on your reproductive health, not only in abstract, but your actual medical care. Let's just say what it is. Now, inevitably, another court case, and I wish them all the best. I think they'll do all right in the end. But well, again, we're looking at three years for that to play out. Hopefully not that long. On the other side, three women have been sued by the sperm donor of a woman whose friends helped her get the abortion pill. So it's a crime in Gilead, as we know, um, to help someone get a termination. So the three of them, pregnant woman, two friends, have been sued by the boyfriend. It had to happen. It needs to happen. Right, because people have to see how these things play out. So let's have a look at that second case today. Will it be upheld by these right-wing eugenicists who are experimenting with women's bodies? Will it be upheld or not? He's charging them. And I'm not sure what the actual offence is. If you could let me know in the comments what are they actually being charged with because so many things have happened in the last few days I normally like to know the exact things that are happening legally and I really don't I don't know what the charge is but the fact it's even possible is really gruesome so how will this charge against the three women go by the sperm donor As I've often said over the years, the next time he gets pregnant, he can have an opinion. But that's just me. Okay. Let's have a look at this case. <sighs> you know what? I don't think this case is going to go very well unfortunately, for these women, but it won't stop there, okay? So this is going ahead with this court case. My girlfriend went and got this pill and now she doesn't have my baby, right? So this is the knuckle dragger going 
full tilt. These two cards, okay, so on the one hand, this you could say is the woman lying in state in in some way. I think it's going to look like the case will be all right, moving from choppy waters. But this is Texas and they are chained legally to the devil. So I think we're going to see it like a false dawn, um, like that could be the um, lawyers for the women trying to have the case dismissed or moved or something, something, something. And then I think it's going to get a bad outcome. Um, but that's not the end of the issue. Let's go a bit further because I feel very strongly that's going to be the inflection point. Okay, what does this devil card mean? We have some clarifiers on this devil card. Devil card. Okay. This court case with the three women. Okay. Yeah. All right. Page of Wands, the compelling speaker, and the Nine of Pentacles, someone secure in their position. There's a, It's sort of an androgynous card, but it's female enough for me to assume that it, it's going to go for them long term. But this is a public message. See the microphone? So I suspect this case is going to go a certain way. Then what's going to happen to that? Excuse me a moment. I have to shut this door. Where's the pause button? I don't want to stop your phone. No, pause. Oh, phew. Managed to find the pause button. So then... There's going to be a judgment of some sort. Is it going to be a fine? Are they going to be incarcerated for helping their friend? Is she going to be jailed for actually not wanting to continue a pregnancy? It's almost like it's not until it gets to that stage that people wake up, start talking and fight for women. It's like it'll go under the radar, not all together, of course. There will be small groups protesting this step by step, but it won't sink in until there's some sort of judgment. And what on earth could that judgment be? It's appalling. And in a related issue, Lauren Bobert's about to become a granny at 36. Mm -hmm. Her 17-year-old son got the 16-year-old girlfriend pregnant. Oops, aren't they supposed to abstain till they're married? You know, he's just turned 18. She's proud of him. So that's awesome. What can you say? It's like Sarah Palin. Yeah. Now, on to a more... Um, more gut-wrenching topic in a way. Biden apparently is on the brink of signing off on a huge pipeline in the Alaskan tundra. I mean, really. Now, before you think I'm just America bashing, no, Australia doing the same thing, right? We've got... A new groovy Prime Minister, Albanese, known as Albo, um, who got in with the help of the Green vote, but he won't say no, completely rule out the Adani coal mine. Adani is the name of the Indian corporation or huge businessman who wants to build the biggest coal mine in the Southern Hemisphere, right opposite the Great Barrier Reef. Right. Now, this is bad for all the obvious reasons. Right. So in Biden's case, it's not 
in the actual Alaskan wildlife reserve, but it is the tundra, the very delicate ecosystem of the tundra next door, like things aren't connected. Is it, what is it that these people don't get? And it got me thinking about this timeline, you know, and where we're at in this timeline. I digress, viewers, indulge me. Okay, so look, probably 40 years ago, we heard the first mutterings about climate change from the scientific community. So governments at the time said, no such thing. No, 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 no. They got away with it for five years or so. Then after maybe 35 years ago, they went, oh, well, because people still had to listen to science in those days. You remember those times when science actually meant something. So they looked at the science and they said, look, yes, okay, we acknowledge there is climate change, but it's not caused by humans. The earth has always had these major shifts and changes. Okay, okay. Then about 30 years ago, they went, oh, okay, there is climate change and it is caused by humans, but there's nothing we can do about it because we are all deeply addicted to cheap energy. Those were the days, cheap energy. And to be in the modern world, you've got to just wear this. Right? And then about 25 years ago, as the clock was ticking towards midnight with climate change, it shifted with governments. Okay, there is human-induced climate change that is a major problem. So I know, let's have conferences, lots of conferences, hundreds of conferences, and we'll all sign on to targets, mythical targets that the fairies are expected to fulfil. So we're seen as doing something great. Right? That, that started about 25, 20 years ago then. Then about 10 years ago, it was like, oh, okay, we could actually make a case for a green economy, but we can't let it be as big as the filthy economy because they're the ones who are getting us into power. So we'll give a nod to the green economy. And there you have now the situation we're in, endless conferences and debates, Governments getting in because of their green credentials and putting a wind turbine over here and a gas pipeline over there. And let's do a lot of fracking wherever we can frack. Okay. So this is the problem we're facing right now. And again, uh, yet another issue, we're kicking down the road for the next generation and it's immoral not necessary. If any of the governments had picked up the ball 30 years ago, even 20 years ago, we would have multiple sources of green energy. We all need to have a versatile, agile energy grid, right? So if one goes down, the other can kick in. All the teething problems that are inevitable with something like this would be over, we'd be up and running, independent, each country independent of other countries by and large, so you're not at threat of war because pipelines are being sabotaged, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You know, we could be so ahead of the game, saving work, and these companies would still be really rich. It would be a win-win. But no one had the vision and no one had the guts to go with it. Anyway, that's my digression for today. What else is happening here? So, um, oh, yeah, Arizona. Okay. The Arizona Attorney General, Chris Mays, or Mayor, is suing the Cochise County and its Board of Supervisors because they did this fiddly thing around the election to make their election recorder, I guess the person who actually slates the counts, to be the sole person responsible for election results in Arizona. You know, a complete upending of democracy yet again. So I want to know what's going to happen in Cochise County. 
Okay. She's scared. But she was scared. Because this is, will have repercussions for other court cases. So it's bigger than Kachis County. All right, let's have a look. Oh, speaking of getting bigger, we have the Empress. Yeah. Really? Hmm. All right. Now, there's a couple of things spring to my mind about this. These cards are much more complex than I was expecting. Okay, I was expecting a bit of a yes or no. The Empress makes everything expand. So what is starting here is going to have expansive qualities. Let me just name these cards and you can help me work out what they mean. We have the Knight of Cups, which in this case is the False Knight. We have the Seven of Cups, delusion and not knowing what to do and where to be. We've got the Nine of Swords, being stressed and staying awake at night. We've got the Eight of Swords, the hostage card. What the? Okay. Hmm. I could spend a good 20 minutes applying my brain to this, but it sort of has genuinely surprised me. I think these two are talking about the actual county recorder themselves. I think these cards are more personal, right? Let's get there because they are looking at jail time from, you know, malpractice or whatever the proper term is for trying to subvert elections and do things. But presumably they were acting on orders. The false knight is presumably the head of the GOP or heads plural of GOP in Arizona there saying do it, do it, do it. They're now a bit confused because they were under the impression from the Yeti that this was the right thing to do. So I think you've got a gulp moment here and I don't know whether they're going to go, I'm really sorry, the Yeti said we should do this or whoever it could have been. Giuliani, Lindsey Graham, any one of the ones who supported the Yeti in this endeavour, they're a bit upset or whether they'll stand their ground and they'll just go on Tucker Carlson and go, you know, we were saving democracy. They could deny it all. And I, I frankly, I haven't got the energy today to go into which way they're going to go, but they're confused right now. But the person who's named at the centre of this case isn't confused. They're looking at what you'd have to think is a very serious offence. Oh, my God. Well, you know, all those old sayings, you lay down with the dogs and the fleas will bite and all of that stuff, it's all coming home to roost. So let's end on a slightly more Personal note for all you guys. I do this occasionally, should make it more regularly. What's a message from the universe for all of us? Where are we? Mid-March. From now till the end of March, excuse me, what should we be aware of? What should we be doing? Okay, this is just for us. This is just for us. So let's have a look. Okay. This is really, really important. Okay. As I keep saying, people feel... I can't do anything on my own. What good it is it for me? My hands are tied. I'm only one voter. Um, right, this is how people are feeling. 
this is the conflict of how to, well, it's a conflict on two levels. It's the conflict, the political conflict that's swirling around us all, but it's also often inside the head. Should I do something? No, I can't. Oh, what if I do it? Oh, there's no point. This is our inner self-saboteurs, right? You know, it's like that old saying too, if everyone lit a candle, it would illuminate the world, right? This is something you really need to guard against. I totally get it. My heart is with you, but that is not helpful to you, the family, the next generation or the world to stay in that state. So to be alert to it, things going around, what can I do to help? I don't know what I can do. Pentacles are really practical, right? Doing one thing at a time and you get better at it. So find your action. Are you retired and have a bit of time? Can you give a couple of hours a week or every two weeks to a, an organisation? I encourage all of you anyway, pick an organisation you respect, who you know is doing good work, and what can you do for them? Alternatively, what can you do? This is very practical in your neighbourhood, right? Step by step. If you do the steps of the Eight of Pentacles, that also includes, by the way, being a keyboard warrior. Can you send out things for other people to sign, etc.? Anything. Anything is better than nothing because this is not only debilitating, it, it saps your soul. It's not good for you to be inactive in the face of injustice. So small steps build a lasting legacy. I'm loving this. So think about this in the future. How do you want to be remembered? This is the card of the legacy. Well, things were really bad in my country and I was so freaked out I couldn't do anything. Is No one wants that legacy. Right? You guys are all smart and engaged, so I'm singing to the choir. So let me know what you're doing or thinking of doing. But think about it maybe in terms of a legacy. Can I do something towards the change? Don't, don't think I can't change it, therefore I can't do anything. I think that's the wrong way to look at it. What can I do towards the change? What's the act of goodness and engagement towards the change? Ooh. Oh, bless, 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 bless. Because after five, six years, if not 30 years of being gaslit, we could all do with a rest and a good lie down. So we need to be careful and conserve energy and make sure we have energy to do something good. So take care and let me know what you think about that. Okay, take care, guys. And don't forget, go and check out Lady G's channel. It's just wonderful. The songs are great. Until next time. Bye.